Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Mildra, your gaming monk for the evening, and I'd like to talk to you about Free RPG Day. Now, the first question you may ask is, what is Free RPG Day? To quote their own website, Free RPG Day is a day for you to go to your local participating retailer and play new games and get free stuff. Every retailer has their own version of Free RPG Day, each running games that they want to run. What they all have in common is free stuff donated to them by all your favorite publishers. It's a day to play games, celebrate the hobby, and play some more games. Each store will have their different games that they'll participate with, and it will vary from store to store. A few examples of some of the games that are being present in this iteration are Starfinder, RuneQuest, Dungeon Crawl Classics, Conan and Age on Dream Dove, Numenera, Lamentation of the Flame Princess, Torg Eternity, 13th Age, Penny Dreadful, Border Hounds, and The Ninja Crusade. The goal overall is to inspire players to play a new RPG by making it a little easier to get over the price hurdle that some may have over the matter. Its importance is that while many people play RPGs, there are far too many that will stick solely to their own bubble. Usually this is in the bubble of D&D or Pathfinder, and in some cases Savage Worlds. And while those are great games, no one's disputing that in the slightest. They're only a small piece of the whole puzzle, and sometimes you may find a game that fits more your vibe than the typical D20 experience. Because of that, Free RPG Day is something that fits right in with my mission statement of exploring the world outside of the typical Dungeons & Dragons formula. While there will be plenty of free PDFs available at places like RPG Now, DriveThruRPG, and similar stores, on the website, link in the description, there is a retailer locator that you can use to find a store that's participating in this event nearby your location. I would highly recommend at least some of you watching this to take a look inside those retailers. Maybe through that experience you'll be able to see a game that you may not have even known you might have liked. Even in this electronic focused era, there is still no game quite like the collaborative experience of playing a tabletop game together with other people. It's an experience that in my opinion cannot be replicated through video game experiences, even in the case of MMOs. And while it can appear daunting at first, once you get past the initial hurdles of the size and scope of things, you're able to really show your creative muscles. But if you prefer to do it solely by digital, that's fine too. There's places like Fantasy Grounds, Roll20, and Inferno that can satisfy that edge as well. No matter which way you choose, there are multiple ways to pursue this hobby, and I highly recommend everyone try it out at least once. It is daunting, but so are the most difficult of video games, and just as rewarding when you manage to overcome those hurdles and bring everything together. To quote the tagline for the Free RPG Day event itself, give a little game. Until then, my name is Miltra, I'm your gaming monk. Stay fucking frosty, everybody.